How do you import libraries in Foundry? For example, how would you import Open Zeppelin contracts and then use it inside your Foundry project? This is what remapping is for, and today I'll be talking about how to use this. There are two ways to import other libraries inside your Foundry project. The first way is by using the forge command line. And there is the other way. The other way is by creating a file called remappings.txt. I'll show you both ways. First, let's start with the way where we install another library using the forge command. For the first example, I'm going to show you how to install and use the ERC20 contract from Soulmate. So what you would do is open the terminal, and then we'll install the Soulmate library using the forge command line. Forge install. The package name is called rally-capital slash soulmate. Okay, that installed Soulmate, but where did it install the contracts to? It installed inside the library, so if I open it, under here, you can see a folder called Soulmate, and if I expand it, you can see all of the contracts over here. For example, alt.soul and own.soul. For our example, let's try building an ERC20 contract. So what we're going to import is under source, tokens, ERC20 contract. Here I have a Solidity file called imports.soul. And inside here, I'm going to import the ERC20 contract from Soulmate. To do that, I'll type import, double quote, Soulmate, slash. I'm going to navigate back to the library under Soulmate. And it's under tokens, tokens, slash, erc20.soul, erc20.soul. Okay, let's try creating a ERC20 contract from this ERC20 contract from Soulmate. So I'll say contract token is ERC20. And what are the constructor parameters that we will need to pass to this ERC20 contract? I'll open the ERC20 contract by Soulmate. And if I scroll down, looking for a constructor, the three arguments are name, symbol, and decimals. So going back to my file, the first parameter is a name, uh, just say name. The second parameter is symbol. And the third parameter is decimals, say 18. And then curly braces to create a ERC20 contract. Save the file and then open the terminal again. And let's try building this contract. So I'll type forge build. And our contract compiled successfully. So that is one way of installing other libraries into forge by typing forge install. And to see what files you have installed, what you can do is type forge remappings. You can see here that three outputs are given. DS test. This is one of the files that is being used for the forge test. And then forge std, which is also being used for the tests. And the package that we just installed, soulmate. If you wanted to update the soulmate package, what you can do is type forge update lib slash soulmate. Since our package is up to date, there was nothing returned. But this is the command that you can type to update the soulmate library. Let's try removing this library. What we can do is type forge remove soulmate. And that removed the soulmate from our Foundry project. And just to double check, if I scroll up under lib, notice that the only folder that is present now is forge std. And to show you this, if I try to compile this contract again by typing forge build, the contract no longer compiles. Let's fix this. Let's reinstall Soulmate. It looks like I'll need to make a git commitment before I can reinstall Soulmate. So I'll say, I'll save everything. And let's try installing Soulmate again. Okay, that reinstalled Soulmate. And let's double check and try building the contract again. Okay, our contract compiled successfully. That was an example of how to use the forge command to install, update, and remove packages. Next, I'm going to show you how to install Open Zeppelin contracts using npm. And to use this contract, we'll need to create a file called remappings.txt. So for the next example, I'm going to install Open Zeppelin and then try to use it inside my forge project. So first, I'll open my terminal, clear the logs, and let's try installing Open Zeppelin first using npm. To install Open Zeppelin, I'll type npm i, short for install, at open zeppelin 
slash contracts. Okay, once the contracts are installed by npm, you can see here that a new folder called node modules was created. If I open it, you can see at open Zeppelin, and if I expand it further, I can see all of the contracts inside here. For example, if I open token, then I will see a ERC20 contract inside here. So how do we use the open Zeppelin contracts inside our Forge project? What I want to do is something like this. For example, let's say that we wanted to create an ownable contract using the open Zeppelin ownable contract under contracts access ownable. So what I want to say is something like import double quote at open Zeppelin slash contracts access slash ownable dot soul and then create a contract at contract test open Zeppelin OZ is ownable. What I'm trying to do here is import this ownable contract from open Zeppelin and then use it inside my forge project. So how do I import this open Zeppelin ownable contract? What I will need to do is first create a text file called remappings.txt. I'll create a new file called remappings.txt. And then what we need to do here is tell Forge where to look for when it refers to at open Zeppelin. So inside here, we'll say at open Zeppelin slash, this should point to node modules slash at open Zeppelin. What we're telling Forge here is that when it sees an uh, import called at open Zeppelin slash, here it's telling that Forge should look for the file inside node modules slash at open Zeppelin. And you can see here that inside node modules under at open Zeppelin, we have the open Zeppelin contracts. So basically here we're telling Forge when it sees an import of at open Zeppelin, go look inside here for the open Zeppelin solidity contracts. Let's go back to our imports contract, save the file, and then try building it. Open the terminal and then type forge build. And our contract compiled successfully. So in this video, I showed you how to use the forge install, update, remove, and remappings to directly install some library. And I also showed you how to import open Zeppelin from NPM by using remappings.txt.